Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. Brock, can you say hello? Hello. For everybody, another quick drink review. Folks have been really digging these reviews as of late, so here is yet another. Make sure that you subscribe, if you haven't done so already, wherever you enjoy content from the Frugal Snobs in terms of the video content. Make sure you also like, post, comment, all that good stuff. Do your part, folks. We do ours. If you like what you see in here, please make sure you check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. And if you would like to support us, you can go to support.frugalsnobs.com and support us for as little as 99 cents per month. Should you plug out of the way? Yes. Excellent. So, everyone, I brought everyone a review. This time it's for the Goose Island IPA. I'm enjoying this brew out of a standard beer glass, but it was originally served from a 12-ounce can. Yes. I'm not a huge fan of canned beers, folks, but I am a very big fan of the Goose Island offering. So, here we go, folks. I'm enjoying this brew out of a standard beer glass. In this case, sporting the logo of Cap City Brewing, uh, an awesome little brew pub that uh, Christine and I used to go hang out at. Uh, again, uh, sadly, our local location recently closed. Ugh. So, again, we lost a really cool place to hang out and enjoy ourselves. But again, the legend lives on. Yes. So, uh, this particular brew, folks, um, like any other IPA, you are going to get a lot of hoppiness in this brew. Let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, taking a look at this brew, uh, very nice head on the brew at the pour. has a nice middle amber color. Uh, nice smell to it, very citrusy, very hoppy, standard IPA type of, of scent. Do you get the grapefruit like it hints at? Yes, so as Christina <laughs> states here, the can mentions that this particular brew is hoppy, grapefruity, and refreshing. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Mm. Does it love to the name? Yes, it does. It definitely has that bitterness to it. I believe this brew uh, carries 55 IBUs with 5.9% ABV, as always. Enjoy responsibly, folks. Um, but yes, it definitely lives up to uh, the hoppiness. You definitely taste that hoppiness, the bitterness, the grapefruit citrus hints in uh, the brew. Very similar to other IPAs, but again, has its own distinct taste. I would definitely serve cold. All IPAs, folks, please serve cold. Between 41 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit in a cold, cold glass. I would also probably enjoy this as a standalone. Don't pair this with food or another pub grub, folks. You don't want to spoil the palate. Very refreshing, uh, probably a very nice spring or fall beer, and I do enjoy all the other offerings from Goose Island um, in terms of other IPAs and other brews from Goose Island I've reviewed in the past. I'm also an IPA fan, so I prefer Goose Island over other offerings from other brewers. If you couldn't tell by all the videos on our categories. <laughs> yes, I do enjoy IPAs, everybody. Um, but I would say, I think Beer Advocate gives this a 3.72 yes. out of 5 stars, I believe. Yes. I'd probably give this probably a 4-star snob rating, so right in line, a little bit above that. Um, but again, not a bad brew, folks. Again, this is the Goose Island IPA. As always, enjoy responsibly. Be well. Never pay retail. Take care of yourself and each other.